welcome to episode 94 of our Family Travel Australia series. After a flying trip back to Brisbane to present at the Let's Go Queensland Caravan and Camping Super Show, we are bringing you our top tips and tricks to help you make the most of your RV lifestyle. From the gear we have tried and tested, love and trust, to the new apps and new technology we use to stay connected, safety, security, resources and so much more. Plus, we share a moving tribute to Dorothea McKellar and this incredible country we call home. And be sure to stay to the end as we reveal some exciting new travel plans. Be sure to subscribe and join us for all of the adventure. Okay, now before we get into tonight's episode, we wanted to share with you a new, beautifully produced one minute video that Paul has created that showcases some of the most incredible drone footage that we have captured on our travels to date. We recently got to visit one of the newest silos in the Australian Silo Art Trail at Gunnedah, New South Wales. A dedication to Dorothea McKellar and her poem, My Country, which was the inspiration for what you're about to see. A huge shout out to our good friend Mark Watson, one of Australia's most talented music producers, for composing such a beautiful and original piece of music to underscore this footage, and to Paul for capturing these epic and amazing shots of our travels. And of course to Jasper, your thirst for knowledge and your compassion and understanding and fantastic narration of this classic Australian poem just awesome. We hope you enjoy and be sure to stay on for all the tips on how to make the most of your RV lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the microphone Jasper Joseph Kieran. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, gee, we've got a, a pretty exciting morning, actually. We're doing something rather special, aren't we, Jasper? Yes. What are we doing? We're talking about my country. Yes. A, a famous poem made famous by Dorothea McKellar. I think yep. she wrote this uh, in the late 1800s and, and started it and finished it, and it was published in the early 1900s. Do you yeah. Do she was actually born... After the dinosaurs. <laughs> yes, she was, but before us, right? Yeah, before us. That's right. And um, do you know what this poem is about? Yes. Oh. It's about Australia. Yes, and, and she was living in England and she was uh, sitting around with a friend and who was from England and she said, gee, I miss Australia. And she, she really needed to put it into words and she wrote yeah. this poem. My country. Yeah, my country. All right, so we're just going to do what's referred to as the famous bit, okay? Yes, but before we do that, I'll just tell everybody what she was missing, Australia. So, like she said, I miss a sunburnt country. Yeah. I miss my sunburnt country. She meant as in, like, whole Australia. That's a sunburnt country. Yeah, that is very well put, Jasper. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say one line. Yes. And then I'd like you to repeat it back. So you say one line and I repeat after. Okay, perfect. And I think the best way to do this is to really consider how, how she was feeling. Like she was in her heart. Yeah. Really missing Australia. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a go. So nice and close to the yep. microphone. All right, repeat after me. Here we go. I love a sunburnt country. I love a sunburnt country. A land of sweeping plains. A land of sweeping plains. Of ragged mountain ranges. Of ragged mountain ranges. Of droughts and flooding rains. Of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons. I love her far horizons. I love her jewel sea. I love her jewel sea. Her beauty and her terror. Her beauty and her terror. The wide brown land for me. The wide brown land for me. My country. My country. Australia. Australia. Well done, Jasper. 
You're excellent. Don't forget the audience. All right, let's get the audience back in. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Good to have you. See you later. Bye, Jasper. Bye. I love a sunburnt country. A land of sweeping plains. Of ragged mountain ranges. Of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons. I love her jewel sea. Her beauty and her terror. The wide brown land for me. My country, Australia. There you go, little Jasper. He's four and a half. We recorded that a few months ago and obviously this is a very proud parent moment for us. But uh, look, it, it isn't unusual. The kids that we see on the road living this lifestyle full time, getting out there into the great outdoors and experiencing what we refer to as a living classroom, you can tell the traveling kids. Oh, for sure, just mm. confident, resilient, able to talk to anybody, no matter what background or age, so many wonderful benefits come from this lifestyle. So I'm sure there'll be uh, plenty more to come from Jasper. I think he wants his own show, so anyway. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Put the brakes on that a little bit. <laughs> He's certainly giving me direction on cameras at the moment as well. Okay, so we have just had the most incredible flying visit back to sunshiny Queensland. We're here back in Adelaide. It's a little bit chillier down here, isn't it? <laughs> And that was for the Let's Go Caravanning Queensland Super Show. Mm, in Brisbane. Wow, this was so fantastic. We were there for the whole six days. We actually had two speaking engagements each day. The first was around midday where we really got to share uh, our story of how, why, where, and pretty well why we don't ever want to stop doing this. We got to meet hundreds of people and that was really fantastic for us to hear their stories as well, meet other families, meet other couples, singles, you name it. And people doing it in all sorts oh. of, you know, camping setups, really. Yeah, absolutely. And people who are new, people who are purchasing for the first time, people who are dreaming and planning with a, a date, you know, next year or the year after. So it was so awesome just to swap stories and experiences and learn a thing or two as well oh it, that's true there was uh, 235 suppliers there whether that was manufacturers 4x4 accessories you name it the best latest gear the experts all under one roof so we really love that and we have to say thanks to Caravan in Queensland and Apollo for uh, getting us up there to our home state of Queensland. We absolutely loved it. Now, during our time while we were there, we are excited to tell you that we ticked over the 10,000 subscriber mark here on our YouTube channel. We are absolutely thrilled, we are blown away. It was a milestone that we did have and for us, we have always tried to maintain that we just want to share really feel good content, mm -hmm. you know, and pretty well take you on this adventure with us and that you've stuck by us and, and you've continued to watch is amazing. So thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> we hope that we can continue to do this and inspire you out there because if we can do it, you, you can, can do too. it. That is so <laughs> true, you know. Um, it really is just, again, about not worrying about whether you can see the whole staircase mm -hmm. and just taking that first step. Yep, definitely. Okay, so let's get on with it. We are going to share with you pretty well our PowerPoint that we delivered in the second chat of the day in the seminar rooms there at the Brisbane RNA showgrounds. And this was a very detailed account of not only the, uh, the gear that we love and use and we trust and why, but also all of the apps that we love, some new apps, some new technology, how we stay connected, safety and security, entertainment, education, and the resources that we use. Whew. 
How okay. to make the most of your RV lifestyle. That's what it was actually called. Thank you, Katie. So let's kick that off. We're going to start with the apps that we absolutely and love and use and toggle between every day that we're traveling. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, first of all, I should mention that Katie is going to send this out via email to anyone who has subscribed through our website, okay? Mm -hmm. So the feelgoodfamily.com.au, if you've subscribed there, once a month, Katie sends out an e-newsletter. We don't bombard you with lots of other carry-on. It really is that that simple, isn't it? It is, it just keeps you up to date with our latest videos, new tips, anything that we've learnt on the road since we spoke to you last, recipes, lots of good stuff. Magazine articles, we write for a couple of magazines, and of course our weekly podcast that goes out on Friday nights. You can find everything there, gear, you name it. All right, so let's kick off with the apps. The apps that we absolutely love include quite a few weather apps. Who doesn't love talking about the weather though, right? Come on, we're Australians. <laughs> Tell you what, our lives revolve around the weather here and it's generally because we are outdoor and environment loving kind of people. And so we use three. Um, why would we use three? Okay, we use one particularly for looking at the wind and the tides and that's Willy Weather. Yes. The next one we use is Elders. And this was uh, something that was recommended to us by farmers out in sort of the agricultural areas of outback New South Wales and Queensland because they suggest that it is just a lot more accurate. Okay, and then finally is Oz Rain Radar, and this is brilliant because it really gives you an opportunity to stay safe when you're towing, pull over on the road, work out how many cup of teas you're going to have in the back of your rig while you're waiting for that weather to pass. So we just love our weather apps. Mm -hmm. Another really fantastic environment app is the Star View app. Oh, love this app, as does Jasper. Yeah, it's just a really beautiful, easy to use interface. It can literally show you all of the cosmic action. Jasper loves looking for space junk or the constellations and it's educational and entertainment all in one. There's a light version which is free and then there's a paid version as well. Yeah. Okay and then the other one that we want to really tell you about is full range camping. Yeah this app is fantastic. If you're looking for something that gives you information on great places to stay, things to do and see while you're in region, but also access to that wonderful community that we talk about all the time. Full Range Camping is your app. Yeah, and look, they are improving this app all the time, and we are hoping that we're gonna be working alongside these guys in the near future because we've got a few ideas that we think will even add greater value to this app. There is a light version, and then there's a membership version that includes loads of other benefits and as Katie said your one-stop shop we love it okay the next app is called SciGig the wonderful thing about this as a GPS um, a directional app is that you can put in the parameters of your vehicle okay the height very important for those low bridges the width the weight the length you can put all of those in whether you want to avoid dusty, dirty, outback, red, red dirt roads. You know, you only want to be on pit, um, bitumen roads. It is really fantastic for that. It's simple to use. It is a subscription base, mm -hmm. but really jump on their website because every three months or so, they literally halve the cost of this app and it comes up regularly. So don't pay full price. No, and look, <laughs> as far as value for money goes, I have to say this app has saved us lots of headaches and stress yeah. of feeling like we may be going down a road that isn't appropriate for the vehicle that we're driving in. So definitely worth it if you want stress-free navigation. Fantastic. All right, the next one from us is podcasts. Do you listen to a podcast? Never listen to a podcast? Don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, any of those questions, if you've answered no, then you need to know about this they are also free. Yeah. Another incredible resource for learning, education, entertainment, all wrapped up in one. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it is my personal escape each week. I chuck my headphones in my ears and, and it is so fantastic because you can literally learn and find out about any topic that you could imagine. 
hundreds of thousands of podcasts from creators all over the world and they're free. Yeah, absolutely. And we definitely have a handful of favourites as well as our own podcast, our Family Travel Australia podcast that we release every week on a Friday night. Okay, so we're up to season four, episode 18 uh, for this week that is going out and it is about 93 episodes in, in line with the amount of YouTube episodes mm -hmm. that we have as well they go for about 25 to 30 minutes it's Katie and I rabbiting on very much like this but generally in our pajamas <laughs> with a, a cup of coffee yes a cup of coffee we record this normally 5 6 a.m. on a morning that Jasper's uh, asleep so that's how we, how we get that out every week and we just love it it's it's a little bit more intimate a little bit more detail so if you want to find out a bit more behind the scenes sort of stuff check that out on every podcast directory around the world and it is free okay a couple of other quick podcasts uh, we'll put a whole list up there for you to look at mm -hmm. yourself but we absolutely love the moth okay so check that out unbelievable stories from people from every walk of life uh, and it really is remarkable some of the storytelling that's in there and it covers every single I guess scope of the uh, the emotional storytelling you know you can be elation and then it can be heartbreaking yeah yeah so you'll <laughs> love that and then there's also RV miles mm -hmm. which is an American version of what we do if you if you like hearing about what the Yanks are doing and and hearing their topics and industry news and national parks and places to go it, it's just a very interesting podcast as well mm -hmm. all right let's talk about some of the gear particularly around technology and connectivity oh great because we do get this question all the time yep. around how do we stay connected on the road what service providers are we with how is the self I go going yes okay so we'll start with the self I go we use Telstra as the carrier when we started off on this adventure Katie was on Optus and I was on Telstra that has come in handy particularly when we were in Tasmania yes. where they were doing a heap of work to the Telstra towers and we were so reliant on tethering from Katie's Optus yes I had to be very nice <laughs> to her for four and a half months during lockdown uh, but look now because we've got some of these things we're about to talk about we've both moved over to Telstra because at the end of the day it is actually greater coverage across the wider space of Australia okay so the self I go is fantastic it definitely works we've tried and tested it it is expensive in that it's about a thousand dollars for that kit to get that and install it yourself yeah. it definitely works though if if you are remote, as long as you have one bar of signal, it will definitely boost your telephone signal. So yeah. we can recommend that. The other thing that we use is called a Nighthawk. Again, we've coupled this up with Telstra as the provider, and it creates a wireless hub within the van and the vehicle while we're traveling wherever we have pulled up. As long as we've got a signal, that provides about 200 gig of data every single month. And we would recommend that you can either go in store or check out JB Hi-Fi here in Australia for your best deals on Telstra products like this. Yeah. Okay, finally, the last one that we're going to mention is Starlink.com. Elon Musk, got to love what this guy is creating for humanity, particularly around staying connected. He has now been able to create worldwide coverage with Starlink. Just check that out for yourself, do some research, but that is coming to the RV landscape for Australians very soon. It's starting to roll out and that means you can have coverage in any location on earth and of course that means any location anywhere in Australia. Incredible. Incredible. So check that out for yourself, starlink.com. Okay, let's move to entertainment Ooh. and education because we found that you can use these two together. Mm -hmm. So two of our favorite apps that we use when it comes to reading with books, we love our books, it was hard to get rid of our books when we packed up our lives, a borrow box and overdrive. Now we have an incredible free library system here in Australia and if you have a library membership card, you can plug those details into these apps and basically digitally go to the library and borrow mm. your favorite books truly incredible and as Katie said it's free mm. amazing mm -hmm. the other one that we really love as far as entertainment is Disney plus 
this is our absolute spoil. Yeah, it sure is. And for a small subscription fee each month, all of us get great pleasure out of the Disney Plus app. Jasper loves it for all of the classic Disney titles. And we also get access to some pretty amazing National Geographic documentaries and so much goodness there. So on rainy days or whenever we're feeling like a family movie, it really is worth its money. It was pretty cool last night. Jasper got us to all sit down together as a family and watch Raya. Mm. Gee, that was good. Awesome. Yeah, and, and it's available now on Disney Plus as part of your subscription. So check that out. Okay, the other thing that we get asked a lot about is schooling. Now, Jasper is only four and a half. School starts for him next year. Now, we can tell you as parents, we are all in school, as we said, you know, <laughs> on this traveling journey and this full time RV living. The living classroom is always around us, and we love that. But we do have to start thinking about how to turn our Genesis van here into a classroom next year. Mm -hmm. So if you are out there and you are road schooling or you're a teacher or in the education environment, we'd love your feedback and comments on what you prefer, which model you yeah. choose for your children. We have met loads of families on the road who are homeschooling, happy, healthy, amazing children so we are excited for the challenge a little bit nervous as well we don't have a clue in other words so <laughs> if you do drop us a line drop us an email subscribe over to our website and let us know what you've either tried and trusted or yeah just some some opinions we'd love to to get some feedback mm -hmm. okay resources yeah. now there are some pretty good resources out there again that are completely free the one resource that we want to direct you to today, other than our website, where there's loads of free resources there, but is Caravanning Queensland website. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. Yeah, there's great information on there if you are in the market or thinking or dreaming that you want to hit the road at some point in the future. Lots of good information there to read up on before you go and make that purchase of your RV, whether it's new or second hand. And if you are already on the road, there's great information there when it comes to the really important stuff like safety and towing and just all of those aspects that are really good to know from an industry organization. Yeah, it's the peak body as well. Um, the great thing is, is that if you want to get the towing manual on how to tow the weights and restrictions around that mm -hmm. and recommendations, you can either download it free from that website or you can write to them and ask them to post you out a hard copy mm -hmm. and they'll send that to you for free. Yeah, it's and it's so the good. National Towing Guide, so it is the, mm -hmm. you know, the guide created by the national industry body. Okay, the other thing that really came up and we spoke about at the show was safety and security. Look, Touchwood, we have never felt threatened or worried about our own personal selves or personal belongings. Um, we have met other campers that have had different things that may have been stolen, you know, a Weber here and there or a bike or, you know, the kid's scooter. Look, we can tell you now, that's not from within the caravan community, that's from someone outside side the probably the caravan or campsite walls so um, look it does pay to lock your stuff up we have always maintained that we lock our van no matter whether we're just walking across over there to the playground just ducking over to another van or whatever it is we have just created a habit that we've never ever failed to do so and yeah like we say we've never had anything taken now as far as van security we were I was really worried about this when we started those first three months and um, our, our actual tyres on our first van and the rims were too wide for a wheel chop lock, so I, I couldn't get that. Um, the hitch that we had was one of those Elko, very similar to a, a DO35 sign, sort of hitch with the extra pin. I couldn't get a lock for that because it was new to market. So I was like, oh, you know, someone's going to steal our van. I ended up going to Bunnings and purchasing a very large black motorbike chain lock that we do use and have used, and particularly if we're going away for a few days. But look, there, there are a number of other different things. You can put trackers on, on your vehicle. Yeah. You can put special arms that lock across the door. Um, I mean, you name it, there are so many different products out there. So do a bit of research yeah. if you are concerned. The main thing that we would say is go and say hello to your neighbor. Yeah. You know, that is what this community is about. That is what is so great 
just yeah create the buddy system you know if you're, if you're heading off and you're going to leave your van somewhere and there's a camper beside you let them know let them know not only for your own safety of when you think you're going to return but also just so that they can you know just keep an eye on your stuff i think that's important great advice okay finally we're going to talk about gear now we have fallen in love with certain products through trial and error all right <laughs> and when we set off we thought we needed everything. everything and then you meet the guy at the first park and you get gear envy and you're like oh i've got to get that as well now they i mean that's exactly what happens yeah. right and then you need a gvm upgrade yeah <laughs> okay but that's different okay so <laughs> so yeah so the gear part of it is um is something that we have really grown to love because we realize less is more you don't need as much stuff as you thought you did but the stuff you do need get get the really good stuff and once you've got it then tell everyone about it and so that's what we're actually going to share with you now we love our awning anchor kit from ground dogs the world's best awning anchor kit as they say mm -hmm. um, and you can check that out on our website all of this gear we're going to mention you can actually check or get a link through from our website and you'll be able to find them some of them we're affiliated with which gets a discount code some of them we just love yeah we don't have anything to do with but <laughs> yeah. we just love so we want to share those so check out the ground dogs it will change your life and it will save you getting up at 2 a.m when all of a sudden the wind score comes up and you're worried about the awning getting ripped off for yeah which yeah. is a major concern for a lot of people and i for one am obsessed with the wind and knowing what it is doing so it is our number one product that keeps us happy and saves that stress on the road perfect okay the next one is tidy turf now tidy turf are another queensland family that are based on the gold coast they have created these amazing mats that we absolutely love mm -hmm. we're going to continue to work with these guys because they've got new products coming to market all of the time mm -hmm. and they also were created because they shifted during COVID. they had a, a a very successful synthetic turf business and they needed to do something different being campers themselves and loving the camping environment they decided to move into this field of products and it is absolutely booming for them so well done to miles and brooke and we love their products check that out oh yeah we even picked up a new tidy turf mat up at the show that we had to transport back to adelaide and we'll feature that properly in an upcoming episode so you'll be able to check that out yeah and there are a number of other products that we absolutely love everything from outdoors to indoors so do jump on our website and check out our gear page and like paul said wherever we can get a discount for you we absolutely will so take advantage of those yeah a couple of the others just quickly are the telescopic ladder oh, we yes. love that the recycled mats mm -hmm. la towels mm -hmm. A wonderful story every towel that's sold a late plants a tree to replace all of those trees that were lost during those terrible bushfires up and down the east coast of Australia mm -hmm. in 2019 great story yeah yeah so check that out and also Jason crazy dog canvas oh great so clever products that that's right simple clever save you time innovative we love it okay so finally we discussed at the show the community you know what keeps us here and loving this so much mm -hmm. are the people yeah. yeah look whether it's um you're in trouble and you need a hand some advice on the best you know hidden secret spot or camping area to go to uh you know the the best gear that you should or something up that could make your life better we have found that it's all about adding value and we just love that yeah that's right and somebody we met at the show put it perfectly and he said to us you know at the end of the day when you're sitting around the campfire with a bunch of other campers you're all the same it doesn't matter what walk of life you come from what your background is what your paycheck is at the end of the week you're all sitting around the campfire doing the same thing enjoying being a part of something bigger than yourself and a part of yeah. this amazing incredible environment you are all equal <laughs> he said he was like a guru wasn't he the campfire guru um, and it's so true you know we, we have really appreciated that part of it um, from the very first place we camped through to meeting people you know now at the show and just loving how uh, connected everyone is in this community so yeah. thank you to you out there 
for subscribing to our YouTube channel, for being a part of this family, the greater feel good family. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribed, what are you waiting for? There's come on. so much goodness <laughs> about to come up and you don't want to miss it. Okay, that's a really great segue into what is coming your way. The ultimate, and we really mean this, road trip experience for the next six weeks, mm -hmm. we're going to be taking you on a journey from Adelaide to Darwin. Woohoo! Unbelievable. We're going to be sharing with you stuff off the beaten track, you know, experiences and places, destinations, camping spots, ideas that aren't we're found in the normal travel itinerary. Because that was the most awesome feedback that's been given to us is that we love that you guys share stuff that's maybe not going to be found in a tourist book or that's different to the normal um, programs that we've been seeing on this area. So we're going to continue to bring you more of that. We're going to continue to do some changes to the Hilux as we can if Kate lets me spend any more money. <laughs> to say the savings are almost depleted but that's okay um, we're doing it and we're loving it and we love sharing it and bringing it to you so thank you for watching we can't wait to start that ultimate adventure next Sunday night at 6 30 p.m. for now it's bye from us dream big look after yourself look after your family happy trails Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com.au. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family and happy trails. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for traveling with Virgin. That's great. <laughs> you did an excellent job. Hi. Hey. Can you make it? <laughs> and then you can see into the bottom. Awesome. Virgin, you're going to restriction. And mine. You can see the table down here as well. That is awesome. With her cookers and stuff. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning! Here we go, the Brisbane Caravan Super Show! With Super Jasper <laughs> and, who, and Mummy and Daddy! And, and, Let's go! And who else? And introducing Papa Bella! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, gonna be an awesome week. Let's do it. Here we go! Bye! Bye! Bye bye, Barbara!